Alright guys and girls, welcome back to another video of mine on my YouTube channel today. Uh, I want to do a quick video on the new Switch which is coming out on March the 3rd I believe. Um, and also uh, there's been talks that when it first comes out the actual online thing it will be free at the start. And then halfway through or a little bit through actually. Um, where is it charging online? Apparently, they're gonna ease it in a little bit later on in go, uh, guys and girls. Uh, so it will cost three hundred, roughly about three hundred dollars, uh, for the Nintendo Switch. And Nintendo's just announced the final release um, date uh, and price for the Switch. The company's new home console handheld hybrid will cost three hundred. And will be released March the 3rd in the US and it will also be region free as well so that means you can get games from say Japan or something or you can get them from other countries America UK all that kind of European countries and all that uh, which is actually fantastic because uh, to be honest they should have done that with the Xbox one and the PlayStation 4 but uh, yeah um, it says the online play will be free for everyone until the fall, and after uh, which Nintendo will begin charging for the service. It will also be out on the same day in Canada, Japan, major European countries, Hong Kong and other territories. Uh, here's what will be included inside every Switch box. Uh, apparently there's going to be the Nintendo-like um, screen. Then they're going to have like the two joysticks, the, the joy controller for the left and the joy controller for the right. Apparently that's going to be sold separately as well. Apparently they're going to have the Nintendo uh, Switch system as well. So you can put the actual the charging dock station, plug it in, put the HDMI. It comes with HDMI, comes with the power pack as well, the AC adapter. Uh, comes with the joy controller apparently and I believe it comes with like some sort of like it's also controls or some joy control so I suppose you connect it to the controller and then you can just take it as a portable with you um, there will be two versions of the console uh, available at launch one with uh, the red and blue controllers com uh, combination one with the grey um, both will cost the same price of three hundred dollars now uh, it's reasonable three hundred dollars um, for the system and it's good that it's a hybrid that you can play on the go as you're going on apparently this, the battery life is supposed to be between two hours to six hours it depends on uh, the game I suppose in a way uh, how much processing power it's used in, at the time for that game uh, also uh, Zelda I think is coming out uh, the Breath of the Wild, which is going to be a fantastic game. Um, I'm not too sure whether to um, put a deposit down on this yet because I don't know what um, the system is going to be like. If it's going to be um, hitting off uh, like rockets, um, but it says yeah, a pair of Joy controllers will be about eighty dollars. So what's that? About seventy to eighty pound, uh, Great British pounds, I think, some of that. Uh, the Pro Controllers is about $70, half a Joy um, controller you can buy for the left or right sides individually will cost be around about $50, so roughly, what's that, 40, 30 to £40, pound, I would say. Um, I'm just having a guess on it. And a spare dock, uh, if you want to use it on a second uh, TV, will be about £90, or uh, well, $90, I should say. A uh, new charging handle thing for your joy controllers will be around about thirty dollars, um, but also it's um, you can buy like a sort of um, the controllers, extra controllers with it as well, pro controller. So that's pretty cool. Um, but I also heard that when they're doing this online thing, the games um, or the game for it they're going to do like the PlayStation Plus where you can get the PlayStation games and they give you a certain amount of games each month but you've got to be subscribed to Nintendo and I think how it's working is it's only going to be for one game 
and it's going to be for some of like the older games and all of that in uh, so basically they're not going to do any new games pretty much so they'll probably do some of the old like really old games and apparently it's only going to be one and it's only going to last for the month that's what i heard and i believe they said because what you have to do is pay for the online i won't be paying for the online because it's going to be shit anyway the wii u was actually a big flop uh online they didn't have a sort of like um the ethernet adapter on it on the wii u you had to buy a usb to a ethernet adapter which kind of screwed over the whole system so when you plug uh, when you had to plug the usb in to get a better connection sp uh, fast speed because of the wi-fi and all of that the wi-fi was absolutely flipping terrible um but uh yeah it's gonna i mean to be honest if i'd got the console if i get the console it'd be just for the zelda game um and probably um some other games but like because i heard there was a pokemon games coming out apparently going to be like the the moon and the sun versions of pokemon which should be interesting i haven't really played much of the pokemon games yet for the 3ds but i do have a 3ds i do have the wii u and i do have the original wii as well so i will probably end up eventually buying the switch but it only be for single player games because that's all i actually um buy the games or systems for um for the nintendos it's just because of this actually i've got this system here if i show you this is the uh monster hunter edition of my 3ds right there absolutely brilliant it's a special limited collector's edition and i have my um pokemon games i've got the moon somewhere uh where is it i've got moon and i've got this i haven't even opened up yet the sun um and i do have uh the moon somewhere uh where is it but anyway it's around somewhere that's all i know um but i played a little bit of um the moon i haven't replayed really the uh the sun yet but they're supposed to be fantastic games and what i played the first like played about 10 minutes of it it's just fantastic brilliant very good graphics but uh, if the switch when you take it off and use it as the sort of like handheld if it's going to be like 720p or 1080 or something which would be fantastic if it's 1080 but uh, we don't know what kind of storage it's going to be using i know it's using sort of like flash memory um for storage but um apparently it's going to be using cartridges uh this time so apparently it's uh, a lot my friend was saying this is going to be the first uh, console system to actually run off cartridges the first high definition hd console gaming that is actually using cartridges which is absolutely flipping brilliant anyway guys and girls let us know in the comments what you think um uh, about the online thing do you think it's going to be a bit of a flop uh, at all um if so um let us know in the comments below and tell us why you think it is or if it's not um cheers all for watching and stay safe and catch you all later and stay safe